What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about why most people are lazy and this is the best thing for you because you can make money off of these lazy people to fatten your own pockets. One of the things that I saw, because I'm getting ready to start another YouTube channel talking about artificial intelligence. This guy was doing a demonstration on YouTube talking about how to use artificial intelligence to create this artwork and then put this artwork on a site like Etsy. And I was just sitting there, it just hit me in that moment. Most people are seeking a solution, something that's done, something that's they could just put their credit card in, have it, and they don't have to worry about going to Mid Journey or going to Lenza to develop this art. And I was thinking, this is pretty smart because I want you to think, you can go ahead and use AI to create products that you can put on the website that people will buy and you absolutely have no cost of product. I really want you to think about that. Now, I'm gonna explain why the cost of product is so apprehensive. Years and years ago, I used to be in the storage auction business and we used to have to spend a lot of money. We had to have a warehouse, we had to have a truck, and then we had to have money to go out and buy goods to sell each month. And in a bad month, 20, 25,000. In a good month, we may spend up to 50,000. And I'm gonna tell you what would happen during bad months. Let's say we have a bad month where I have to put out 25,000. Warehouse rent has to be paid. The lease on the truck had to be paid. And we had another warehouse that had to be paid. And at one point we had not one, but two storefronts that had to be paid. And this was not cheap. We had a storefront that was maybe 1,500 square feet. And the rent on that was $2,500 per month. So we were paying $30,000 for a storefront that really didn't produce anything because one of the reasons we closed the storefronts down was the only traffic we got in those storefronts was traffic that we generated from marketing online. So the storefront, it didn't make a lot of sense because we had to put stuff on Craigslist, we had to Google, put stuff on Facebook, not Facebook, but put stuff on eBay and we get customers in. And I was just like, let's just go ahead and default back to the warehouse and just have everything there. And that's eventually what we did. But at one point, we had really high cost of goods, very high. And the cost of goods was freakishly outrageous. And when we had bad months, and there was bad months in there, every month wasn't good, every month wasn't great. And I had a bad month where I spent 25,000, warehouse cost was fixed, the lease of the truck was fixed, the other warehouse cost was fixed, and then I spent money out here buying stuff to resell. One horrible month because we had these fixed cost of goods. We spent 25,000 and we made 32. So we only made $7,000 profit that month. It was a really bad month. And I made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of stuff that was wrong. I did a lot of stupid things. And, but because that huge fixed cost was always there, it dictated our moves because, so that's why I'm saying to actually have a utility, to have a resource online that generates your goods that you sell for free is amazing. It's just simply amazing. So one of the things that you have to understand, and this is where you're gonna to have to get really involved in technology. If you're not into technology, you don't like technology, that is going to hurt you. You're gonna to have to become part of technology. You're gonna to have to become part of these websites. You have to become part of knowing how to do a prompt in AI because Here's what's happening, and I'm gonna explain it to you. Right now, we're at the beginning of the AI renaissance for the public sector. The corporate sector has been on AI for a long time, but now with chat GPT-4 being released to the public, we're at the re renaissance of the AI generation that's just going to get better and better over time. And if you're not going to align yourself with this, because we've seen this before. Let's take cryptocurrency. The people who got into cryptocurrency early, I'm talking 2010, and they stay with it, and they kept up with their tokens, they kept up with their crypto. These are the guys who are making money. 
because if you bought crypto back then when crypto was like, I think I spent less than a dollar for the cryptocurrency that I bought. I wish I had bought way more, way, way more. And it's the same thing because right now for to get into YouTube, to start talking about cryptocurrency, to get into cryptocurrency, uh, you've got a long journey because there's so much to investigate. There's so much to learn. This thing has, this thing does, this thing does this. You can stake your crypto here. You can do, there, there's so much to learn. And what's gonna happen with AI is if you do not learn this new language and programming capabilities and know where these new websites are, you're just gonna be in the same place that many folks are with cryptocurrency. Because there's so many different layers and modes to cryptocurrency that for a beginner, it could be daunting because it's okay, I'm gonna start with Bitcoin and then I'm gonna start with Eurythium and then I'm gonna start with Solana. It, it just goes on and on and on. So if you don't wanna be in that position where you're on the outside of artificial intelligence, you wanna learn right now. One of the things that I did is I got myself signed up for 20 bucks a month where I have access to chat GPT-4. And what's gonna happen is if I have to pay a little money to me, 20 bucks a month, that's $240 a year, that's not a lot of money. And for me to stay in the currency of learning about this stuff and knowing how to use it and knowing how to deal with it and knowing how to facilitate it, because I was watching this video and it was just amazing. It was amazing. You can go ahead and use Mid Journey and you can learn how to put in detailed layered prompts because the guy made a really good argument. If you put in there, give me a picture of a red Ferrari driving on the road, it's gonna give you a red Ferrari driving on the road. But if you put in a detail prompt, give me a picture of a red Ferrari at sunset taken with a 50 millimeter camera, very detailed, very worthy, you get a completely different image. You get a completely different setup. And if you're not in the process of learning how to do this stuff, because what's gonna happen, and I'm gonna to explain to you what's gonna happen. There's gonna become some tech that's gonna cost you 20, let's, let's go ahead and say it costs you $100 per month. There's gonna be some AI tech that's gonna cost you 100 bucks a month in which the smart people are gonna do is go out and create a website and start selling a service and they're gonna turn that $100 a month into 10,000, into 20,000, into 30,000, into 40,000, because tech is gonna become the new warehouse, the new factory. Tech is, tech is become the new factory, and for the people who are smart enough to understand that, for the people who are willing to do the work, who are willing to expose themselves to learning all these intricate details, because one of the things that I see is creating a journal on how to put prompts in because the average person is just going to put in i want a picture of a black bear they're going to put in i want a picture of a black bear they're not going to put in i want a picture of a black bear on the mountain at sunset with the sun shining on its fur and i want the visuals to be like taken from a 50 millimeter lens because that detail because that first black bear is just going to be a bear but that second black bear is gonna be a black bear that's gonna have a blurred background. It's gonna be shiny, it's gonna be more forefront. And one of the things is that when you learn how to do these detailed prompts, it's just gonna open up a whole new layer to the AI warehouse. It's just gonna open up a whole new situation. And in the future, you're gonna be able to use AI to create products and services that are not gonna cost you a lot and you're gonna be able to sell these products and services to people and build out your warehouse. Because I was sitting there and I was just like, once again, I was watching this video and the guy went to Etsy and he showed people who were selling these art, this artwork that was digital, let's call it digital artwork. And these people were making money. And I just thought, man, the average person is so lazy. That's the first thing that came out of my mind because I'm the type of person that will watch a video like that. And I wouldn't go to Etsy and buy anything. I would go to Mid Journey. I would watch the videos. I would spend maybe 10, 20 hours watching videos. I would learn how to create these prompts and create these products myself. But I'm not the average person. The average person wants a ready-made solution. The average person wants to slap down their credit card, 
get what they want and go on with their life. And these people are the people you can make a crazy amount of money off of because if you can make stuff to make whatever wishes and desires that they have real and set that up on a significant level, because he was showing me these little art stores were making 30 and 40, you know, uh, started with something that was doing six and 7,000 a month, which is pretty awesome. What you think? Just go ahead and just stick with me for a minute. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, make sure that you hit the bell notification for all, and make sure that you get the money mindset course that's gonna teach you to optimize your money. All right, so stick with me for a minute. Let's say you have a job and your job pays you $50,000 a year. And let's say you're a curious person by nature, and let's say you get into this digital artwork and you create a store, and every night when you come home from work, you spend an hour creating new digital art products. And you get you a store on Etsy, you start selling it, and you find six months later, this store is making you $5,000 a month. And because your cost of goods are zero, you're making a net $5,000. You make $50,000 on your job and you make $60,000 on your side business. And you're just a regular person spending one hour a day creating new artwork five days a week. You don't even work on weekends. And you have literally created a small business that has more than doubled your income because you like your job. You're not one of those people. So once I go ahead and get me a side hustle or get me a side business, I'm gonna quit my job. It's like, you like your job. So you keep your job and you keep doing this. And then you find out the next year you're making $10,000 a month. And you just go on and on and go on. And let's say year six, you still have your job year six, you're making $30,000 a month from your side art business. This is year six, year seven. And you're in the position where your house is paid for, your car is paid for, you have tons of money in the bank, you have investments, and you just created a side business, a small business that literally takes up one hour a day. And as you go ahead and expand, you start to hire people to do things. So you go to work Monday through Friday at your job, and then you just kind of check in with your team who's making you after paying salaries. Let's say you, you get two dedicated team members and your business is making $30,000 a month. You pay them $5,000 a month. That's $25,000 a month. That's $300,000 a month that comes to you. $300,000 per year that comes to you. That comes to you because you have set up this wonderful little side business. I want you to think about this. the future is freaking amazing the things that are going to come out the things that are going to be out here for the people who are active smart and go-getters and people who will do the work the future is going to be crazy because once again i'm getting excited because once again i have the background of coming from a traditional business environment with high cost of goods and now i'm moving into this new environment where we don't have these high cost of goods. You're gonna be able to create. And once again, I'm a, also a member of the creator economy. I wrote a book which came from my mind, put it on Amazon, and I did not have to spend money to warehouse the book. I didn't have to spend money to store the book. I just literally used technology to make a lot of money from the comfort of my home. And what we're gonna have going forward is some amazing opportunities for people to make a lot of money from the comfort of home to build because the average person doesn't want to go through the process of learning how to set this stuff up. And if you become the person that sets this stuff up, you become the facilitator, you become the person who makes this happen, there's a lot of money in that for you because people are lazy. So. My name is Glendon Cameron, and I'll be here today, I'll be here tomorrow, probably here 10 years from now. And what I want you to do is go ahead and get the Modern M Mindset Money course, it's free. And I want you to subscribe to the channel, and I want you to watch these videos more than once. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and watch these videos because I'm all about helping you move to the next financial level. 
So that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next one.